what I'm doing right now is being impatient and starting with the bed and as you can see here there are some things you need to be aware of while you're building that's why I closed the door just want to show you how much space you actually got in the end here versus here so if I pull this one in like this I can pull it out like this and then that's going to be the end of my bed. That's going to be the other end of my bed. And that's flipped over. So this is why I build it in the car and not trying to build it outside and then lift it in. Because I need this visual. And something more is this wall isn't straight. So you have to cut it of the car there and see how much space you're gonna have on the back here uh, that's not a problem because it's nice that the white bearing is in the more in the middle so yeah and then I have to flush this one a little bit take this off so this rounds so when I have pulling out and pushing the back bed back in it's gonna slide over this without a problem I might also notch this one down so it's flush with this one uh i'm not sure about that i might do it or i just might have it on the top like this but anyway so this is how it looks this is how the bed will be i don't think i i might apply one in the middle some support in the middle here i don't know right I'm gonna have, I, I don't think I need more on those three, but I might have one for separation over there. Maybe I have one more over here for separation. I just build one big drawer under here. It's it's just, I, I, I more like figure it out while I, while I do it. The thing I need to be aware of is weight, because the weight is gonna, really have an impact on this car because it's a front wheel drive meaning that if i have too much weight in the back it's gonna pull it's gonna put pressure here and that's gonna lift up in the front and that means that i'm gonna lose traction in the front so i really have to be aware of weight while i'm building this car so yeah so we have starting to get stuff put together uh, I don't know if I'm gonna actually screw it together today or if I'm just cutting the pieces and then storing them for later because I'm gonna do the ceiling and as uh, I mentioned earlier this one is a little bit crazy um, so I might carpet over that again with another carpet I don't know I was hoping to carpet along here before I put the roof up, but um, I don't know. I think the most difficult part now is gonna cut those, uh, this part here. So this is my, this is gonna be my roof. This is how it usually looks. This is after I stained it and I put some oil on it. Oh, oh wait, wait, oh, one hand is not easy, sorry. So yeah, so now we have to cut it to the exact um, the corners here because as you can see here, that's what we have to work with, these corners here. So we can't just take this one over to this one and this one over to this one because you've got corners and those corners are a nightmare. So yeah, they are in every piece and this here you got the slope like this i think this is going to be the easiest part because it's got the slope but then you have to secure it so yeah there's a lot to think about because this one has the corners in all four corners here we only have on this side and then we have the round here so there is a lot to think about while you're doing this. It's not just putting it up there. Ugh.
Yes, I sometimes I wish this was a square box or that I just carpet by the same as everybody else and just carpet the whole piece. Because if you do it, you could carpet the ceiling over the isolation, you know, just carpet it. But I want to do plywood, just to see if I can make a ceiling. It's this is learning. This is a learning process for me. So yeah, that's what I've been doing right now. <laughs>